اهلا بيكم في كايرو دار النهارده احنا هنبدا نعمل ريفيجن على شابتر 1 سبورت اند موفمنت ليفينج اورجانيزمز عشان ما نضيعش وقتنا نبدا باول مجموعه من المالتيبل تشويز كويستشنز ذا فيرست كويستشن ذا موفمنت ان مان تيكس بليس باي ذا كوردينيشن اوف ا جروب اوف سيستمز ويتش ار الحقيقه المالتيبل المالتيبل تشويز كويستشنز المفروض ان انا يا اما اعرف الانسر على طول واشوفها يا اما ان انا استبعد الاجابات اللي مش ممكن تبقى صح في ساعات يبقى سؤال خلاص ده دايركت كده ما ينفعش مش هقعد ادور فيه بس برضو لازم ابص على التشويز بتاعتي آه لما اقول موفمنت ان مان تيكس بليس باي ذا كوردينيشن اوف ا جروب اوف سيستمز لازم يبقى ماسكولار سيستم سكيليتال سيستم اند نيرفس سيستم يبقى دي انسر اوف ذا فيرست وان از ذا ذا سكيليتال ذا نيرفس اند ذا ماسكولار سيستم The second part or the second point of the uh, uh, multiple, multiple choice questions is that uh, the proper energy stored for the muscles is the energy or the carbohydrates are stored inside the muscles in the form of glycogen. So the ATP molecules act as the energy currency of the cell but that's not act as the energy stored inside the uh, muscles. Uh, the glucose it does not act as a storage of the energy uh, uh, Materials inside the muscles, lactic acid, is not act as the right answer. So the right answer is uh, the first one is the skeletal, nervous, and the muscular system. The second is the uh, glycogen. The third point: the muscle space, the spasms of the muscles mean the contraction of the uh, uh, muscles strongly. That during the uh, that the, uh, during the fatigue. That uh, due to the accumulation of the chemical substance called dots. The first choice is the carbon dioxide, the second is the alcohol, the third is the lactic acid, the uh, uh, number D is the uh, amino acids. The answer is the lactic acids that, take, that form it as a result of the anaerobic respiration inside the muscles during the shortage of oxygen. The next point the physiological support in the plants is represented by. Uh, that act as a very uh, simple because the physiological support in the presence of water so that act as a temporary support the support it takes place as the presence of water but the absence of water means the absence of the physiological support so that act as the or the answer is the turgidity of the plant cell the turgidity due to the presence of the osmotic pressure inside the vacuoles of the cell the next point dendrites the uh, Tendril twin around the support. The tendrils twin around the support. The uh, uh, tendril move in air searching for the support. But if the tendril reaches the support, it twin around the support. That because the when the tendril attaches the support, the, the, the concentration of oxygen as a side away from the support become greater than that adhere the support. So the side away from the support to grow faster than that facing the support. So the uh, tendril twins are twin around the support. But the next to give reason question, the presence of the girdles inside the appendicular skeleton of the man. We understand that the appendicular skeleton in man, that means the uh, presence of the uh, pelvic girdle and the uh, uh, pectoral girdle. The pectoral girdle or the shoulder girdle that to, to uh, help the attach of the upper arms or the upper uh, limbs uh, with the skeletal system and the lower part of the pelvic girdle for the attach of the legs. That the presence of the two girdles that uh, to facilitate the movement and using the uh, limbs, the fore limbs and the hind limbs uh, uh, by the action of the uh, uh, wide joints white joint at the joint of the shoulder joint and at the thigh joint. The shoulder joint is the joint due to the connection of the humerus bone or the head of the humerus with the glenoid cavity of the scapula. But the uh, thigh joint due to the connection of the head of the femur in the stipulum cavity of the pelvic girdle. The next question, muscle fatigue. Muscle fatigue that takes place due to the accumulation of lactic acid in muscle. Because the muscle stores the amount of food in the form or the carbohydrates in the form of glycogen, the glycogen change into uh, glucose. The uh, uh, 
oxidation of glucose at the absence of oxygen or during the anaerobic respiration that means the oxidation of the uh, glucose into two molecules of pyrophic acid but the pyrophic acid is reduced into lactic acid inside the muscle the presence of lactic acid inside the muscle that leads to or causing the muscle fatigue but the muscle respire anaerobically during the shortage of oxygen that to release very little amount of energy which act as a two ATP molecules for each glucose molecule. The next question. Blood is continuous movement inside the blood vessels. The movement inside the blood vessels, this question asks about two parts. يعني بيقول لي blood continuous movement inside the blood vessels يعني ايه اللي ايه اللي بيعمل movement او نفهم ان هو ايه اللي بيف... بيعمل movement وبيعمل movement ليه يبقى لما اجي اشوف ال movement of the blood that due to the pumping of the heart the pulsating of blood vessels and also the presence of valves inside the veins that allows the blood to move in one direction from the heart to the body organs and from the body organs to the heart but the blood continuous move inside the body to carry out the function of the blood. The function of the blood is the uh, transportation or carrying a great amount of the uh, great number of substance at the presence of the food, the oxygen, the wastes, the uh, uh, carbon dioxide, the uh, oxygen, the uh, uh, antibodies, hormones, enzymes, many substance can carry by the blood and the transfer to the whole body organs and also to regulate the uh, seri regulate لما اجي اقول للبلد فانكشن يبقى انا هقول ترانسبورت ايه تبقى حاجات كتير ريجوليت ثلاث حاجات وبعدين بروتكت حاجتين لما اجي اقول ريجوليت يبقى ريجوليت ذا ميتابوليك اكتيفيتي ريجوليت ذا بادي تمبريتشر اند ريجوليت ذا انترنال انفايرمنت اوف ذا بادي اند اولسو ذات بروتكت ذا بادي اجينست مايكروبس اند بروتكت ات سيلف اجينست بليدنج باي ذا فورميشن اوف ذا بلاد كولتنج Uh, uh, but uh, the function of the blood is not important for chapter uh, 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 one, but the importance is the movement of the blood. Because we explained the function of the blood at the previous uh, year. The second question. The sliding theory of the muscle's contraction is the most acceptable to explain the muscle contraction most acceptable, accept, acceptable theory to explain the uh, muscle contraction is the sliding theory because we understand that Hexley uh, uh, compared between two Im images of the myofibrils one of them during the contraction of the myofibril but the other during the relaxation of the myofibril and to compare between them and explain that the contraction is the sliding of the actin filaments as the two sides of the Uh, myosin filaments that decrease the length of the myofibril that act as a contraction of the muscle. But the uh, uh, relaxation is a uh, uh, movement of the actin away from each other so that increase the H zone or of the uh, myofibril and the contraction and the relaxation that takes place due to the presence of the transverse links that form it at the presence of the calcium ions and the energy compounds. But the next question is the presence of the enzyme cholinesterase of the neuromuscular junction. The cholinesterase enzyme breaking down the acetylcholine after performing its function. We understand that the muscle membrane is polarized, that means the outer membrane is positive and the inner is negative. But the presence of the acetylcholine which you get on the membrane of the muscle that it changes selectively permeability of the membrane. So that causing the movement of the sodium ions from outside to inside that it changes the state of polarization into depolarization. Depolarization leads to the contraction of the muscle. So we need to remove the acetylcholine that causes the depolarization of the muscle. So the enzyme which is called the uh, cholinesterase enzyme breaking down the acetylcholine into choline and the acetate after performing its function. يبقى علشان يشيل الاسيتايل كولين يبقى انا محتاج محتاج كولينستريز انزيم يعمل لي بريكنج داون دي اسيتايل كولين انتو كولين اند اسيتيت سو ذا ماسل تشينج اتس ممبرين انتو ذا ري بولاريزيشن سو ريلاكسيشن تيكس بليس ذا نيكست كويستشن درو اليبول ديجرام فور ذا فيرتيبرا الفيرتيبرا جت كتير في الامتحانات احنا حوالي ثلاث مرات تقريبا كل مرة تقريبا كان عليها ثلاث درجات احنا المفروض نعرف نرسم السنترم بتاع الفيرتيبرا وبعد كده بعمل التو ترانسفيرس بروسيس 
وبعدين باجي في النص بعمل نيورال سباين ومن النيورال سباين علشان اعمل كونكشن بينها وبين الترانسفيرس لينكس الترانسفيرس بروسيس اللي عملناها يبقى انا هنا هبدا اعمل انتيرور ارتيكيوليتنج بروسيس والبوستيرور ارتيكيوليتنج بروسيس وما انساش في النص بعمل النيورال كانل نيورال كانل دي وير دي سباينال كورد باس ثرو دي فيرتيبرال كولون The next question. What do you know about the coccygeal region? The next point is a pelvic girdle. We understand that the uh, vertebral column is divided into uh, uh, many uh, stages. The first is a cervical vertebra, which are seven vertebra. The second is a thoracic 12. The lumbar five vertebra, which act as the largest sacral that the uh, five root flat and connected together to form a sacrum bone but the last uh, four vertebra fused together to form uh, the uh, vestigial tail of the human being that acts, act as a uh, coccygeal vertebra so it's the name as a coccyx below the sacral small and diffused and the number of the uh, sacral the coccygeal is four but between two practices uh, between two practices and they all fuse together the pelvic girdle, the pelvic girdle consists of two identical halves fused together at the ventral side as a certain part which is called the pubic symphysis. But at the dorsal side they connected with the sacrum bone. But each half consists of three bones, ischium, ilium and the pubis. The, uh, between the ilium and the uh, ischium the presence of the uh, cavity which is called the astibulum cavity where the thigh or the head of the femur fit inside it to form the side joint. What do you know about the pectoral girdle? Pectoral girdle means the shoulder girdle. We understand that the shoulder consists of two uh, bones or two identical halves. Each half consists of two bones. The dorsal one is the triangle bone which is called the scapula but the uh, terminal one or the frontal one is called the clavicle. So the two bones form the shoulder but the, uh, the terminal side of the scapula containing the cavity which is called the glenoid cavity where the head of the femur, uh, the head of the humerus feet inside it to form the shoulder joint. The scapula is a triangular bone. This uh, bone or the inner side of this bone is prude but the outer side is pointed where the presence of the cavity which is called the glenoid cavity. The uh, uh, glenoid cavity is a cavity where the head of the humerus fit inside it uh, to uh, form the shoulder joint. The next question. What do you know about the muscle bundle? We understand that the muscle bundle consists of a group of muscle fibers, but they connected together and surrounded by the uh, connective membrane or connective tissue which is called the pyramis. Each muscle fiber consists of from 1000 to 2000 myofibrils. Each uh, uh, cell or each muscle fiber consists of the uh, 1000 to 2000 myofibrils but each myofibril consists of the uh, two alternated or alternation of the light bands and the dark bands. The light band containing the thin filaments which, which are called the actin filaments but they bisected by Z line but at the this image explains the presence of the light band and the dark band the light band made of the actin filaments where it were bisected by the Z line but the uh, 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 dark band consists of thick filaments which are called the myosin filaments the myosin filaments in the dark area is uh, bisected by the presence of the uh, simulated area which is called the H zone. The distance between each successive two Z lines are called the sarcomere. The next part. The motor unit is a junctional unit of the skeletal muscle. Discuss with the reference to its components. We understand that the neuromuscular junction is the point of the connection between the terminal branch of the nerve fiber or the motor nerve fiber and the motor the motor in plate of the muscle fiber. We understand that act as a synapse. 
the synapse in the uh, point or the attachment point or the, the site where the terminal arborization of the neuro become very close to the muscle plate. Each motor unit consists of a group of uh, muscle fibers and the nerve fiber uh, supplies them. But we know that the nerve fiber is divided from 5 to 100 branches to supply the muscle plate and that causing the contraction of all parts of the muscle at the same time. The next question, the movement of, is a result of the coordination of skeletal, muscular and the nervous system in man. Explain the statement. What about the role of each of the skeletal, the muscular and the nervous system? We know that the skeletal system that supply the body with the bones that help the movement of the body parts due to the presence of the joint between each two bones between this bone and the other one or the humerus and radius and ulna, the presence of the elbow joint the elbow joint that act as a joint for the movement that needs the presence of the bones to support the body parts and the, to form the joint but the contraction of the uh, uh, muscles that leads to the movement the movement in the uh, contraction of the muscles we understand that the muscular tissue is the only tissue had the ability to contract and to relax causing motion but the bones can't move without the presence of the muscles and also the muscles can't move without the presence of the motor impulses which reaches the muscle from the nervous system so the nervous system is very important because the nervous system sends the impulses to the uh, uh, muscle plate causing its contraction and also the relaxation or the movement of the, uh, this part of the body needs the presence of contraction of certain muscle and relaxation of the other one. So the movement in human being that needs the presence of the three systems. The first is the skeletal system, the second is the nervous system, the third is the muscular system. My dear students, that's the end of this revision. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.